Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Haute Lance HLC-03 from the Atelier Collection. You can see this 1 of 88 limited edition jump hour retrograde and buy it on our website, watchyouwant.com. Subscribe to our channel if you enjoy these videos, and you can click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time to see our complete listing for this watch, with additional high-resolution images, accessories included, and naturally complete pricing details. Now, on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, it's kind of hard to miss two standout features here. First, spectacular mother of pearl, almost a kaleidoscope on the dial. And second, yes, 102 diamonds. Now, I might lose some friends here, but I'm going to admit that I really like this watch. Aesthetically, it has a punch, it has a power, it has a charm that is probably unobtainable with either the mother of pearl or the diamonds in isolation, but on this 41 millimeter case on my 16 centimeter wrist, it really works. So hear me out. 41 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the oddly placed crown, which is at approximately four o'clock. The watch is actually quite compact lug to lug. This is an easy watch to wear if you want a complication that's not gonna eat your wrist. 44.5 millimeters from lug to lug, and it's only approximately 9.5 millimeters thick. So this will clear a tight sleeve or dress cuff. Now the watch itself has a reasonable amount of heft as it's rendered entirely in 18 karat white gold. The white gold case forms a beautiful frame for that dial which has its own white, not silver, but white base and all of the elements applied atop are screw screwed down, are held down with adhesive, are fixed in place such that you almost have the effect of a machine in the center floating amidst a sea of turquoise and violet. It's quite dramatic and with the exposed screws on the dial, pays a little bit of an homage to F.P. Journe in the modern era. Now, the strap is a beautiful matte black piece that honestly is designed to look understated and keep the focus on the watch itself. Matte black, not gloss, monotone stitch, completely unbolstered. It is a very supple calfskin on the bottom, so that deserves mention. And it's paired with a somewhat unconventional screw-fixed tang buckle, faceted with contrasting finish and contrasting metal, a combination of titanium and steel. It's an interesting piece, very handsome, and a nice complement to a watch that is unconventional in almost every conceivable way except the shape. Now the HLC, C for circular, was Oatlance's first circular case in 2009. The company dates back to 2004, but for the most part, up to 2009, they were known for their TV screen rectangular cases. This broke the mold, so to speak, and this example, the HLC-03, does so in dramatic fashion. The diamonds are subtle. In fact, at an arm's length, they don't immediately register as diamonds. You can see the unique, almost modular look of the case, many facets, many hard character lines, give the watch strength and definition, and then you find the diamond set atop a bezel so thin it's almost like a halo about the dial. Now, this doesn't remind me so much of gem setting as it does the early beaded bezels of the late 50s, early 60s reference 806 Breitling Navitimers. That's actually the feel and the aesthetic and the vibe I'm getting from this, and it's a nice complement to the mother of pearl on the dial itself, which does really shift its color and brilliance in different lights at different angles. Now the complication, even amidst the mother of pearl, the gold, and the diamonds, remains the star. It is a jump hour and it is a retrograde. And you can see in the partly skeletonized dial, you can see the rocker arm, that actually controls the retrograde system and simultaneously reverts the retrograde and jumps the hour. Now it's fantastic to look at because not only is it incredibly entertaining, but it's also beautifully finished. And the standard of the movement, again, is exactly what you would expect of the Haute de Gamme. We're, we're talking high level Audemars Piguet, high level JLC here. That's the standard that Haute Lance achieves on this white gold jump hour retrograde. Now the watch features a 21,600 vibration per hour beat rate, and I only mention that because unusually, it's actually engraved right into the bridge next to the balance. The watch also features a 40 hour power reserve. It's an impressive 24 joule movement. And you can see that the watch does not hack. However, it is perhaps the most entertaining conventional 
two-hand watch, if you want to call it that, that you will ever find. With the combination of the retrograde and the jump hour, it has immense personality. Now, this is a manufacturer movement in every respect, and it's important to note that all the hallmarks of truly great watchmaking are there. Impressive from an engineering standpoint, it also has incredibly rich Cote de Genève across the bridges, polished screw heads, and mirrored enclage. You will not be disappointed by the standard of finish. It is quite possibly able to steal the show from an aesthetic standpoint from the gold, the diamonds, and the mother of pearl. But with a dial like this, this charismatic, complex, and nuanced, it's hard to say anything ultimately trumps the unconventional display of time. This is not a watch for everyone, but what it is is an incredibly fine piece of engineering craftsmanship, and if you've got a personality like mine that's just a bit offbeat and a taste for the unusual, you can't do any better than this one of 88 Oatlant's Atelier HLC03, available on watchyouwant.com.